All right, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video in our game animation sample project where we are currently working on NPCs for our combat system or whatever you want to call it. So let's just keep working with it. In the last episode we set it up so that our NPCs can attack our players. So he's gonna chase me and then he's gonna attack. We have an issue, there's an issue with this, because if I keep in range, you see, he's only going by range now, so he's trying to attack me, but I am not in the right direction, or he's attacking away from me because I went away, but if I go over here, he's gonna chase me, and then he's gonna start attacking, so that's gonna be in the right direction, but as soon as I go around him, He's not going to trace towards me, so let's fix that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So, how do we fix that? That's the question. Before that, I made a... I just did this. Possessed. I set the camera style too far on uh, the client possess, because I want the camera a little bit outside. Just a quick note. Um, yes, so we need a event tick and begin play. We're gonna set component to enable to be false. Give me a second. And so we will do pretty much the same thing that we're doing in the in the uh, component for our player. Uh, on rotation, it's pretty much this. So I'm gonna copy this. So that's from the attack rotation when locked on inside of the try lock on rotation. Because this has a target and our own character, so that's kind of what we want to do with the MPC as well. But wanna yeah, current target is actually called the same, so we can keep that. Then we do get owner. Is that an actor? Yeah. So the owner will be the NPC character. So we can replace this. Uh, let's go into this advanced thingy and just grab the set actor rotation. With the owner, I'm gonna split here. Get the owner. I'm gonna plug in the X and Y as well. So there we go. And the delta seconds is the delta time. Let's just, just to see if it works, I'm gonna do it without this one, because th this is not the proper way to do it with this, but since I just realized I promised you that I would not do the tracing thing as well uh, for finding enemies, so I need to fix that as well later. Alright, uh, that's gonna be in the next video. Uh, so this will be false when we are attacking, so whenever this is false and we are attacking we're going to try to rotate towards our player character. Let's just see if that works. Oh. And 
that is not working. Just do like this. That would work. Okay. Uh, ah, wait. No, I disabled the tick, so it's not ticking. Sorry. Stupid me. Yeah, you can see that he's now constantly like rotating towards us. So that is fine. Uh, but we don't want to use this bull, we want to use another bull. Uh, so we're gonna do a bool called P rotate to target. I'm gonna rename this to be can take action. So if rotate to target is true, we're gonna rotate to target and then we're gonna collapse this to a function called. And grab the delta time as a variable like this. And there we go. That's the input here. And we don't have to like do any RPCs or anything because it's the it's on an MPC, so th everything here is always only running on the server anyway. So as if we set the rotation on just make sure I'm not lying to you here. Uh, uh, uh. Client. Yeah, we can see it's still rotating. So that works on the client as well. And we're gonna get the current target, convert to validate get, so we can only do this if we actually have a target. Perfect. Mm. I'm gonna add this one in again. And we need a function called set set target rotation. And if this is true, we're gonna set component tick enabled. Actually, we can probably just plug that in like that and like that. Because they are the same. Because if rotate to target is false, we're gonna turn off the component tick. And if rotate to target is true, yeah, that works. And we need an interface. Call set rotate to target. And the final thing is a animation state. This is state. Rotate to target and we're just gonna replace this call rotate to target is true on the begin and false 
on the end. So that's gonna call this function on the MPC components. So we will add it here, event call set target rotation, this one. And add a little comment. Perfect. And now we just need to add that state to our MPC's attack animation. Wherever I have that. It's hard coded for now. Emphasis state rotate to target. We're gonna add to our attack animation, and then decide during which frames we want to rotate. So it depends on your game. Some games have super aggressive uh, tracing. Some games don't have it at all. I don't want like aggressive tracing for the entirety of the attack animation. So there's still you have like up until here to dodge it, and then shoof. It's gonna continue in the right in the same direction. There's some another thing we need to do, I realized. We have the state can take action. That prevents our enemy from doing any new action while that is playing, right? Let me just see if the tracing works. You can see the tracing is working. Might be a little bit aggressive, uh yeah, it's pretty aggressive. Probably gonna turn down the speed. To like three, maybe. Let's see how that looks. better. He's trying to like rotate towards us and attack. Yeah, that, that looks decent. I'm gonna keep that. And then we need to actually, because we have another issue here I realize that I noticed before. If he is attacking me while I am attacking him. Okay, it's not that obvious though. The base, maybe I already did it. Uh, I'm talking about the hit animations. Uh, also need to have this state. So that the MC doesn't try to uh, make any new actions during the hit animation. Could barely tell there, but still. You can see his is better at attacking us now. I think we are getting kind of close here. Um, so for the MC. I'm gonna increase this acceptance rate just to like a hundred. Still 
very little. And that's fine, I think. At least now it doesn't have to like get really close before it can attack us. Maybe maybe 150. I'm gonna try that. Just to make it so that it don't have doesn't have to come like super close before attacking us. I think that's that's better. So he has some distance when he attacks us. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, all right, cool. Quick video. That's gonna be it for this one. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.